Hello, my name is Jay Ski, and I will be telling you how I feel about the explicit broadcaster. I would have done an expert gamecaster, but you cannot open that while broadcaster is open, and you can't open broadcaster while gamecaster is open. It's just a bit of a dodgy thing, but basically, gamecaster is just the same as broadcaster, but broadcaster you can edit a bit more than the gamecaster. But gamecaster is a better streaming than the broadcaster. That's my opinion. So let's get into this. Oh shit, I didn't need to click that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so what it is guys, I'm just going to go through how it all works and everything like that and I will give you a review on how I feel about XSplit. So for first off um, on the file you can go obviously go on new presentation, you can load a presentation and you can save your presentation. What that basically means is what you edit on here, you can save it then when you want to go on it again you load it so I've got mine there if you can see I don't need to keep making a new one I've got my own so that's how you can do that then when you if you're new to this and you're wanting to know how to do everything like that you go to add source and you get your screen capture this is the important thing when you get in screen capture you'll get like red cross all you do is drag it from that corner to this corner here and it will capture all that if it's depending if you want to capture a little bit you obviously mark out what you're wanting to capture so for me I've captured the whole thing so that's what screen capture is game capture I always use the audio auto detect reason for being is because if you go if I went on five nights of Freddy's it would so it would come as a list under there saying Five Nights at Freddy's but it doesn't auto detect it at times this is why I use the auto detect it's much better because it will auto automatically detect the game and it will automatically record the screen of the game so it's, it is much better for the next one is media file if you want to upload an image video or a HTML onto the, onto the screen here for example I, if I, I put my Twitter name in corner here, this is what I've started new doing. So I get this image, upload that, it'll come down here, put that in the corner. You can resize it, make it smaller, totally up to you, move it about, uh, totally up to you, really. And then um, for your webcam, I basically use an integrated webcam, which basically means it's built in, so it's not really good quality. This is why I'm not using it, I'm just doing a voiceover one. But in the future, or in about a couple of weeks, hopefully a couple of days, I will get a HD webcam, a proper one, decent one, nice quality one, 50 megapixel, I think it was. Um, I would get that in the future anyway, so I have to put up with this one for a little bit. Audio devices, this basically means your audio. You can have, a, it will come at list whatever audio is that's plugged into the system. Since mine's a built-in system, it's already got a high-definition audio, but basically I don't really use that because it's a bag of wank. I use my microphone for my headset. It's much of a clearer voice, as you can tell. If I use that one, you would probably not hear me properly because uh, it's built-in system, so it's all built-in, so it would record the system noise as well, so it's a bit horrible to brush with. That's why I use the headset. It's much better. Text. This is where... I'll run about with the image, like Twitter image, and you can put text next to it saying your Twitter name. You can use it as your, um, what do you call it, username, like your YouTube username, your Twitch username, put it up there, anything you really want. Um, you can put your Facebook thing, Snapchat, Instagram, anything you like, your website, everything. Whatever you want, put that text in, stick it on. Others, there's a few others, but I don't really use the others as much. But there's Image Slideshow, RTMP, Stream, Sky Video, Starboard, Video Playlist, Web Page URL, and Whiteboard. Everything you need to know is there. If you want into, if you want to get more plugins like these, you go to the store. It has got a list of them. Just install them. I think most of them are free anyway, so it's not that bad to be sure. Right, this way it gets all important for when people like have struggles when they like have lags or in the games and everything like that. 
it's all depending on your computer and what resolution it can really take. For me, I've got 540p. This is basically means it's not a HD one, it's not low quality, it's just halfway in between really. And these three here are your HD ones, these are your standards, and these are your low qualities. I don't say lower qualities because 360 is not really that perfect really, it's really bad quality. But the lower the quality is, the better frames it's going to get, it's faster, it's going to be faster and less laggier. But if your computer can take the HD, and that basically that means if you're like a Mac or a high quality computer like a core or something like a gaming com computer or anything like that, it can use the high resolution from 920 to 1080 obviously, and it would capture it all in HD. For me I use the 540p for local recordings and the streamings just for now until I get a new computer but I would have to put up with this for a little bit. Frame rates I use uh, 30 FPS which means the FPS means frame per second. Always keep it at 30 unless your computer is fast enough to take it more which you can go on custom and you can change it to what you want. Scene transition you get a load of features here you can change the speed I'll come to that scene transition in a minute because I need to go on well I can do that now actually. Scene transition right you get 12 scenes Whatever you want, you ha the only reason, uh, the only way to get 12 scenes is if you have a license for, for the split. If it's demo version, I think you only get one or two. But with these, you can, if you've gotten scene one for me or mine, I'll give you an example. I've got my webcam, gaming, everything else on one on scene one. And in scene two, you can have just your webcam, so you can have a full screen with your webcam on your scene two. You do get hot, you can have hotkeys which are in general settings, hotkeys, um, you can press buttons on your keyboard, it'll switch it to scene 2 and switch it back to scene 1, depending on what you're putting on your hotkeys. And for example, if you see YouTubers playing like games and I don't know if they went on Friday, Five Nights at Freddy's, they get scared and they want to show the full face reaction, they could skip to scene 2 where the web, full webcam is and that's where you can see the full reaction so it's much it is good you can have different types you don't have to have just a webcam you can have i don't know you can have a picture in the slideshow i think that's what you can put on videos other types of videos anything like that so you know what i mean so projector i don't really use that so i don't know where it is scale viewport this is oh you can have whatever you want it's the size of the whole thing i'll do an example scale for if i click 70 it goes a bit smaller like that if you can see but for me, I always keep it at 100% because it's much easier to see. Right, broadcast. This is where it gets exciting. If you wanted to live stream, you can authorize your Twitch account to exploit. Then all you have to do is click that and it will start streaming. So, um, local recording, which I'm doing now, I, I'd rather use local rec oh, Twitch on Gamecaster and local recording on here. Um, local recording is pretty decent on here as you can tell and um, twitch if it, I, I when the first time I got this I used twitch on this broadcaster one and people kept saying that the streamer was a bit laggy and it was impossible to watch so I went on to gamecaster and I didn't have a problem so gamecaster is the one for using to stream for twitch that's my that's my advice for you a lot and local recording, obviously, I've got an OK on that. Shift A, click Shift A, it stop, starts it and stops it. I uh, can pause it if I want, but I'm not going to pause it. What's the point? So that's your broadcasters for you, and you can edit stuff like your bit, or bit rates and codecs and everything like that. But the only way you can do all them is if you get a premium one, because premium you can do more stuff with it. Tools, um, you can share your stream on Twitter, Facebook, anything like that. My recordings, it shows you all the recordings that you've done. This one I'm doing now, one while I'm recording now, it will go into my my recordings and do what you want. You can edit it, anything you like. General settings, this is where you basically give you all your general ones. All your audios, what you can change. Hotkeys for these, like I explained earlier, switch to scene one, switch two, three, using these. Counts, 
video sharing if you want to share your video on YouTube just authorizing it but I don't do I don't usually do that social networks Facebook authorize your Facebook Twitter everything like that if you need help just follow me on Twitter my name is there just ask me questions DM me whatever you want Google Plus authorized to post on Google Plus is if you really really want to and that's it for you I don't know what that is so go go away Help if you want to more help on this, and if I can't give you the help, go on here. You do have a manual, latest news on it, so keep checking that. Just see if there's any latest news. Release notes, don't really need that. Send feedback if you want to send feedback, what you think of Explain. Basically, if you send feedback saying it's a bit dodgy and everything like that, they will help. Oh, they will help to update it to make it much better for you. That's what the feedback is for. Upgrade slash extend license. I've got um, the personal one, and if I want the premium one, I can upgrade it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to test this out for three months until it ends. See what it's like. If it's alright, then I'm going to go to premium. Check that out. See what it's like. Get it all sorted. So, yep, check for updates. Always click that. Check. Just keep checking for updates. Just see in case updates do come. You do. It's better to keep update with the software and everything like that. And um, but I'm not going to click that because it's got my email address and everything like that on it. So I'm just not going to click out. All it tells you is the version of your exploit and everything like that. So what I'm going to do now, since I've gone through everything with you, so what I'm going to do is give you an opinion what I think of exploit. What I think of exploit, I think it's really, you know, it is brilliant. Is it brilliant software? I gotta admit. For local recording, it's why I use Exploit Broadcast for local recording. That's it. I don't, I don't use it to stream because it's not, not really that brilliant. But local recording is brilliant to record on, and I do use this to start streaming stuff because it is much better. It's faster and it's a lot more reliable than that. But Exploit Broadcast, you can't keep putting it down because it is a great software. I've not tried premium yet, so premium could be a lot better than the personal account, but this is a personal account I'm gonna give you my review on. But it is a good it is worth the money. You do get people saying, Oh, it's not worth the money, get the open broadcaster, but open broadcaster does not work on all the computers. I downloaded it on here and it said it wasn't compatible because I needed direct X ten and I couldn't get it. So don't always rely on the open broadcaster. Xsplit broadcaster is reliable and it does work on many computers. Same does Gamecaster as well. Gamecaster you can use like you put like if you got like an HD PVR you can use that to connect it up and everything like that. And it gives you an like an HD look onto a games. That's what I will be doing end up doing sooner or later when I get a new console. I'm not gonna I'm gonna do some PC ones for now. Do different types of games. Gonna start, gonna complete that. I'm on night five on that anyway, so I'm gonna try and do that one, do a custom one, and I'm finished on that one. Try a different game, and um, hopefully I'll be on PlayStation 4 by next year. So I'll be doing some more recordings on the PlayStation 4, like FIFA, GTA, Call of Duty, all the stuff like that, all top games. So, got any questions? Just comment below. Ask me. If you need help, I will try and respond to as many people and whoever watches this. But I will, I will try and help you. And if you um, got Twitter, follow me on Twitter, and I will. And if you got any problems, message me or tweet me, and I will try and help you. I'd probably get more to you on Twitter, is because I'd get notifications and everything. I'll get notifications for YouTube, and I might not be on it all the time. So. Yep, that's my review on Exploit Broadcaster. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.